I wanted to make this video because many people think that they're weak when it comes to certain things. And I'm not saying that you're not weak. I'm not saying that people don't have strengths and weaknesses. We all do. But a lot of times, these weaknesses we think we have are kind of imposed on us by other people, by society, by our own experiences that we've had in the past. And they haven't really been validated. I say this because I know there's a lot of people out there who are struggling. Many of you are struggling to learn math. Maybe you're going through a hard time with your family, maybe your friends, maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend. Life is hard. We all face adversity. Whatever it is, just know that you might be stronger than you think. You might be a lot stronger than you think. And I say this because I've seen it in many areas of life, but more specifically in mathematics. I've seen people who have come into my class in the past and these people, they are defeated. They come in and they think that they suck at math. They had a class before mine, they got a C, they barely passed, they took it three times. And all of a sudden they're good. A lot of times, it's not you, okay? You're stronger than you think. It's just the situation that you were in. You know, a common story I used to always hear from people, well, there was two stories, two versions of the same story. Version one was, when I was in high school, I had this teacher, he was so cool and he was great. He was the best teacher ever. Version two was, when I was in high school, I had this teacher, the teacher was horrible, they made me hate math, I hate math. That's the version I usually heard, but there were some positive stories too, but it was mostly negative. And these people, it's not because they weren't good at math, it's because they let someone else dictate their strengths and weaknesses. Because right? we, we all have natural abilities, right? Some people are naturally better at math. But if I'm going to be brutally honest, most people, I would say 99% of people are decent at math, at least decent. Very few people have a very, 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 very hard time. And, I, and I, I've had students who've had a very hard time and they stopped having a very hard time but sometimes there's a few where they just they'll make it they'll pass the class but it's like and that's that's a small minority so chances are you are not in the minority even if you think you are chances are you are better than you think you are stronger than you think and just think if this applies to mathematics which is one subject, it has to apply to other stuff in life too, right? Confidence, social skills, other subjects, other, other abilities. You are stronger than you think. A lot of what we think of ourselves is because of other people. And it's not because they do it intentionally, it's because we get feedback from others, from other people in society. How they view us affects us. And so if you have a bad experience with mathematics, then you're going to think you're bad at math. But that doesn't mean you're bad. So start believing in yourself. Realize that you are stronger than you think. 
I have seen people, I mean, I, I've had students where, I mean, I'm a pretty positive person and I've had students where I thought they couldn't make it and, you know, they would do bad on the first two tests and I'm like, okay, I, I think in my mind, oh, they probably should not be in the class. I don't think they're going to make it and they'll come to my office like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stay in the class. I'm like, okay. All right, and I tell them what to do, and I'm thinking, I really hope they make it, but I don't think they're going to make it, and they make it. And it didn't matter how many classes I taught. It didn't matter how much experience I had. These people continually surprised me. It doesn't matter. I would, I would always be shocked, and you would think, you would think with all the classes I've taught in college, all the years I taught, you would think that I would learn to recognize when someone can make it and when someone can't make it. But I couldn't. I'm getting goosebumps. That's the freaky thing. I always had students who blew my mind. Didn't matter how much experience I had, how many people I saw rise from the ashes like a phoenix, there was always some other student who would do terrible who would just completely fail the tests and show no hope and then miraculously recover at the end. You're stronger than you think. People are stronger than they think. You really are. Remember that. And I think of those students. I remember one I had. She, she I can't believe she passed. She, and she got A's on the last two tests and on the final. It was a statistics class. Incredible. Incredible. Like I just. And these are people that have been studying. They have been doing all the homework. You know, they, they've been trying really, really hard. And they're failing the tests. And then something happens. They just. Incredible willpower. I don't know. And it works. So you're stronger than you think. So if you're thinking about giving up. I'm not saying you shouldn't quit. Because, you know, I, I don't know if you can make it or not. But I do know this. If you quit, you're not going to succeed. So maybe it's better to try. I know that when you're taking classes in college, you know, usually you get to a point where you can withdraw from the class and protect your grade or continue in the class and then you're going to get a grade. So... That's the thing with college and quitting, right? You have to weigh your pros and cons. I have personally withdrawn from classes, from math classes. Two. Two. Actually, three. No. No, two. One was a math class. Yeah, one was a computer science class. So, yeah. You're stronger than you think, my friends. That is the message from this video. Believe in yourself. Know that. You might have some really good raw talent. You just haven't unlocked it yet. Check out my math courses. Links in the description or from my website, mathsorcer.com or freemathvids.com. Check out my books. Links in the description. As always, stay strong, my friends.